Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about making an Arduino traffic display using an ESP8266 and the Google Maps API. Let's take a look at the project features. It can get the estimated travel time between places from the Google Maps API. It can be configured dynamically via Telegram Messenger. The configurations are persistent across resets using SPIFs. And it displays the data to an OLED screen and an RGB LED. So let's take a look at it in action. When I power it up, it'll send me a message through Telegram. The light's a little bit bright, so I'm just going to cover that. When I send the values command, it'll return what the currently configured values are. It saves these values to spiffs and reads them up on startup. Here I'm sending in a new origin, which is where the journey is starting from, and a new destination. If you need more accurate values for these, you can get them from the URL for Google Maps. The row on the top of the screen is set by the text command. We can't guarantee that what comes back from Google Maps will either fit on the screen, or it could even be a longitude latitude value, so we need to set our own. The save command will save the configurations to a file and force a refresh of the data from Google Maps, as otherwise it only checks every minute. The limit command sets the value that the RGB LED changes from green to red based on the percentage difference in the travel time. Normally this would be a negative number or zero, but I've set it to be plus five just to show it working. I then power off and power on the board to show the last save values are retained. Details of the project are on my GitHub page, I'll link to it in the description below. The wiring diagram is pretty straightforward so I won't go into detail on it. You will be required to get a Maps API key and a Telegram bot token. I'll show you how to do that now. Click on the link in the readme to be brought to the Google Maps library GitHub page. Click on the link and scroll down to the get key. Say yes to the terms and conditions and enter a name for your project. This will return you your key and copy and paste this into your sketch. In my send notifications from your ESP8266 video, I go through the process of setting up a Telegram bot and getting your chat ID. I'll link to it in the description below. I won't go through all the sketch in detail, but if you have any questions, please do let me know and I'll get back to you. The first thing we'll look at is the loop. It'll call the check Google Maps function, and if that returns true, it'll display the traffic information to the screen and set the LED. It will also check Telegram to see has the user sent any commands. The check Google Maps function will pass your origin and destination to the Google Maps API. Check out the Google Maps API page for more information on departure time and traffic model. The sketch converts the response from the library into JSON and parses the values out into global variables. Handle new messages is where we process the commands from Telegram. It's configured to reject any commands that aren't sent from the specified chat ID. For each command, it'll strip out the command plus the space and save the value to a global variable. When the user sends the save command, it'll save the configuration and force a map update at the start of the next loop. Hopefully you found this video useful, and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Check out some of the other ESP8266 videos on my channel. Thanks a lot.